Hi guys, Hickory here. Today's job, we've got eight cameras on the HMOs. Camera here, camera here, camera upstairs on the landing, camera in the kitchen, so that's four inside, four outside. All the cameras are terminating in a cupboard under the stairs. Today, all we're doing is running the cable in. I've stuck me rod up there, trying to follow the uh, electrician's path, and I can't seem to find the rod anywhere up here whatsoever. I literally just cannot find it, <clears throat> no matter where we go. It's just nowhere to be seen, so... Uh, I'm off to a great start, let's put it that way. Beautiful property. Uh, but yeah, can't find the rod yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a drill, drill up from the, um, under the staircase and see if we push a rod through, if we can see anything here because we can't find it at the moment, so yeah, great, let's go. So I've just made a new hole and pushed our rod up, and I think it would be at the top of the stairs now, so let's go and have a look. Where are you? You best be joking me. Ah, oh, still can't find that rod. Literally nowhere to be seen at the top of the staircase, so I'm gonna give this rod a little wiggle now down here. See if it'll push through a bit more. Because until we get this rod through, can't get the cables through. You can hear that upstairs echoing. That's going through by that much. It's just over half a metre. Where on earth is that even going then? Finally, we have progress. So um, I ended up not being able to get the rod through whatsoever. So what I've done is I've drilled downwards from upstairs, come down, and now we can see. Yes, it wasn't meant to be plastered until we fit the cables. So we've had to drill a hole or cut a hole out. And in here we can see, or maybe not. Oh yeah, that point there is the top of the staircase. So now we can start getting some cables through, eh? Actually make a start. We started at six o'clock this morning and we've only just made progress now. Let's crack on, eh? Hey, and just like that, our first three cables. Right, so I've just gone to lift up this board here, yeah? It's been screwed down by here, weather. Lifted up the first screw, no problem, that screw, no problem. I've lifted up the last screw there. Psh, water sprayed everywhere. What the is happening here? So, whoever's put that screw in, I'm going to have you, let me tell you. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna find out who's done that. Because straight away, there's other builders on site. Immediately, they're gonna think, right, I've lifted the boards up, so I will have caused that problem. <sighs> Absolute nightmare, that is. So I've screwed it back in now to stop the water from being as high pressure as it was. Literally, unscrewed it a little bit, just like these other ones here. And then it was just gushing out. I was like, oh my God, where's the, uh, where's the water stopcock? Can't find it. Nobody's on site, who do I ask? Absolute nightmare this is, honestly. Absolute nightmare. I can't find it under here. You'd expect it to be somewhere around here, right? No. Probably not going to be under here where the electrics are, you wouldn't expect it to be, you got gas. 
You've got electrics. No water. Why have we got water dripping here as well? Oh dear. It's round there, the hole. So it's dripped there. Unless it's because it's so wet up there that it's just pouring out wherever it can. Well, I mean, it's not my... Not my fault. Somebody else's fault. I'm going to absolutely bollock him, let me tell you. Where the... Where the heck is the... Uh, the water stop? Right, bear with me whilst I find this. Right, so I've just been on the phone to the, uh, the main building. Easy now. Just been on the phone to the main building there. He's found my stop dock. Under there, don't know, I didn't spot that. So that stops the main water supply. We could do with draining it down a bit. Oh. So that no, depends if it's a radiator pipe or if it's a, uh, a water pipe for taps and whatnot. I can't hear any dripping at the moment, but as soon as I take that screw back out, it's just gonna go again, isn't it? And you just know straight away on the phone, he's like, oh God, I bet it's your fault, isn't it? No, I didn't do it, all right? It wasn't me. So let's get a little video of up here. Show them what I'm gonna do in so that they know there's no chance on earth that it would be me putting the screws in a floorboard. So what I've done, got my cables up here. Yep, that's fine. I've got a camera going in the hallway down here. That's fine. Put my rod through down there for the camera in the hallway. <clears throat> so now I'm lifting up this floorboard. I've got a screw up here, plasterboard screw. You know, I don't even use plasterboard screw, so it's not me. We've then got two here, lifted up, one here, lifted up. And then this one is the last one that I've lifted up. And it's just started to spray everywhere. So let's give it a little go again. Yeah, pretty high pressure still coming out of there. What idiot has put a screw in there? The fact is, yeah, is they would have seen there was a pipe there when they're putting the, the board down. So I just don't get what Muppet would have done that. Honestly, it's just created such freaking hassle for us. Guys, I'm not happy. Great start of the day, eh? Now we're going to get blamed for going through a water pipe when I've not done it. But obviously, you can see from this video that clearly it's not me. Um, but now I'm going to have to try and remedy this before I get this board up. Um, I guess first things first, we need to figure out what kind of pipe it is. To do that, I'm going to have to take the board out. And then um, maybe put the screw back in the pipe, whichever pipe it is, and I'll be able to take it from there. Even if I just keep the screw in it for now, with the board out, let the builder sort it out. Because at the end of the day, it's not my doing, it's not my fault. Sure, I can probably fix it, you know what I mean? It's only a bit of a... Uh, Bit of plumbing. Well, yeah, let's see. Let's try and get it up. Guys, absolutely soaked. My face is covered. My top's covered. The room's covered. It's a PVC pipe. And you've got to be just darn right stupid to put a screw straight through a pipe when it's clear as day. Look at this. Do you want to be any more of you? Unless you've literally just put a screw in without even looking what's underneath. Unbelievable. It's still tricking a little bit. You should have seen the pressure coming out there. Look at the wall. All the way up to the ceiling. You can imagine what my hair is like. <sighs> right, so for this, that looks like a, a water pipe. And again, you never know. People use plastic PVC for radiators. So lift up that board there. Um... We're gonna to have to cut the pipe in two places, put a coupler on it, a PVC push fit, a coupler, and put it back together that way. Camera done, camera cable is in. Nearly not that shovel over again. Camera cable in, number seven to go. Let's just, you know, move this out of the way completely. So now I'm just working on getting the, this, this board here up so that I can run this cable up to there and then the joists go in that direction so that I won't need to lift up any boards. I'll just lift this one up, put my rods through underneath 
all the way down and what's this? An access hole already. Oh, thank you so much. And here we'll drill out and that'll be where the camera goes. That'll be camera two done. Once we've done that, got this cable here that needs to go under all these floors here. Joist run this way. So we'll rod through. Probably turn around here somewhere. Then we'll go across. Across again and through here. I always lifted these boards up before, but what a state. Look at this, they've just cracked the board up. Lifted it up, not a chair in the world. Unbelievable. And look how many screws they've put in. Literally like hundreds in the same spot. Somehow they've not hit these pipes. Muppets, honestly. 